What's up you guys? It's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be planning my classic spread for this week, so stay tuned for a fun plan with me. the Lux Spring Book from Live Love Posh. This is one of the new new ones that came out in the seasonal box set, which is sold out, but the books are available individually, and the spring is one of my favorites, the spring and summer, but it is gorgeous, and you can always use code MICHELLE10 to save 10% off on your Live Love Posh orders, excluding any boxed sets since they're already discounted, and I'll have my affiliate link in the description, and I so appreciate your support when you shop through that link at no extra cost to you. But I want to use this gorgeous peony set. I think the colors are so pretty. It's like pink and peach and coral and purple and green. I just love it. So I'm going to create just a really fun floral spread. Oh, these are nice and thick, too. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. I love this sticker book and I am ready for spring. We're actually having some really nice weather here in Oklahoma. So I am enjoying it so much. All right, and I had a comment from one of my viewers that said they wished I would chat more. So I'll try to bring up some things other than just what I'm doing in my videos, like what I'm gonna be using for my Go Wild planner or journal is this uh, dot grid bullet journal and I made a little vinyl on the Cricut to go on the cover. So I'm so excited about that. Be on the lookout for that. And then also I'm going to be using the Live Love Posh Live Love Go Wild book with the washi tapes. I'm so surprised that it's already almost February. Before you know it, it'll be April and time for Go Wild. So I need to get on the ball and get ready for that. So I do want something substantial in the other corner. What if I do this one? Hmm, I don't know if I want it to be like already cut for the corner. I want it to be a little bit more organic looking. Like, let's do this one. Aren't those so pretty? Oh my goodness, I love them. Okay, let me do it down a little bit in case I want to do a box or something in that, that part right there. And also, my sweet little long-haired wiener dog, Millie. Chip is here with me now, but Millie's at the vet because she's have, had some kind of little ear issue, so she's getting that checked out. So I hope that she's... Uh, done soon. It was a drop-off appointment and they'll just call when she's ready to be picked up. I'm going to go ahead and use this right here. But I'm going to go ahead and grab this and use it on the other side because I think I'm going to do a true plan on it style spread with the border across the top and the bottom because these florals are just so pretty. I just have to. So let's do that there and actually I think I'll use this first because that this, there's a little gap in there I don't like. So let's just cluster that right up next to that and then that. And I'm a little bit late getting my spread done. I've just been working off lists and daily sheets. All right, and let's see. I think I'll go ahead and create the border across the bottom and then come back and do my function and then the top. So let's do this next. So I like the, the heights to vary. So it's kind of high here and then gets low. So let's take this up a little bit higher. Okay. 
And I'm not gonna use that there because I don't know, it would, it would be good on the side of something, I think. So let's get something else for here. I think I will just go ahead and use this. Well, I don't like that right next to that. I might cut these apart. Let's do that. Because also that's the same flower, but a little bit smaller. And I don't want that right across from that. So we'll do this. And something else here. How about that? Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some boxes. And I love that these books have the boxes and everything already. I think I'll do the, the brighter pink, the lighter pink, and is there a green? Let me see. There's not a green, so I'm gonna do these three colors for my boxes. Let's do the light pink. I think I'm gonna do it kind of in the middle, right there, and then I'll layer a darker pink off of it. And we'll do a peach one like this. Okay, that's a cute cluster and I don't think I need anything else. Maybe, maybe I'll do a box here. All right, so down here, let's do two of the smaller boxes. We will do, let's do a peach and a, the darker pink since we already have a, a light pink one there. And what I wanna do is trim them off. I've been liking to do that lately where it looks like it's sliding out from the side here. So I'm gonna lift that up for a sec. i put these right here. All right, and just trim those off. Okay, so that side's done. And then I want a larger box over here too. Let's do the, the darker pink. Let's do it right here. And then down here, let's do a, let's do the lighter pink this way. All right, and then let's do also, uh, let's do a peach. Each one here. And we'll do this one there. And over here, we need a darker, we need the, since we have this here, we'll do the pink and the peach. Yeah, it was so nice yesterday. Was it or was it the day before? I think I went for I went for a walk yesterday too. So I'm sure we'll have more cold weather before we get, you know, get spring, but I'm super excited about it being warm. I don't want that there because the flowers are gonna cover up too much of it because I like the flowers to be on top. So let's get a slender peach and have it sort of sliding out this way. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there we go. So all of our boxes are done, unless I decide to add something. So I wanna go ahead now and add the top border. I think we'll do this here and we'll do this well I don't want I don't want too much there so let's see Let's just do it right here, part of it. All right, and for the other side, just something small. We'll do, we'll go ahead and do just part of this. like that. So if I want to do a quote or some bullet points there, I can. And this large one. So there's one sheet used already. So satisfying, isn't it? Let's do this here. I think I'm going to cut that though because it's not connected, so put that right next to this. And then we'll do part of this here. Do that. Let's do this here, and then I just need a little bit more of like the flower action. For right here. except I don't want that pink under there. Just trim that out. Okay, perfect. And then just a little something else there. Oh my goodness, it's looking so beautiful. And then, hmm, I don't know. I think I want a quote here. Do that there. And I don't know what I want to use for quotes. Let me see. I really like these in the Apricot and Sage book. There's some really clean looking quotes. That look this came from that Life Hacks Be Happy box, the Apricot Dream one. could do something like this. I was thinking a clear quote, but this would be pretty. The, the color's really pretty. Let's 
It says, just be you. It's very soft and subtle. This one, I really like it. That says, share your magic with the world. Do it like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I think I might switch this to a slender peach. Why don't I just switch these out? Because I can slide it out and most of the box can still be written on. Let's do that. Okay, perfect. Just put this back under here, or put this flower back over it. Or, hold on, I just thought of something else. I think we'll move this up and move this one down a little bit. Let's do that. We'll put this here and then this up here. Now I want to scoot this up just a little bit. And I like that it has that sort of rosy gold foil, so we'll do the bullet points. I am going to use a white gel pen to cover up just at least this line. It bothers me that it goes all the way through that word. And this is just a, a jelly roll pen. I have these linked in my Amazon shop, but it just, it doesn't completely get rid of the line, but it blurs it out a little bit. So it's not so noticeable. And then we could use one of these quotes over here. Let's do this that says, stay true. We'll do that right there. And I may add a little quote here or there, but I wanna go ahead and draw some lines just with my Happy Planner stencil. And I want to put a few here. And here. And let's do a few here. And I'm kind of thinking here. Okay, and let's get some flags. Okay, so let's do one here. I really like that touch of foil. And over here and up here.
All right, so let's add bullet points in the same, that foil. And we need some here. here and then I guess we'll just need maybe some little finishing touches maybe some more flowers and then I have this coppery foil or it's, it's not really foil it's metallic it's from an old happy planner set I think that would be pretty torn Let's do some right here. And we'll pick it up right here. here Okay, and we'll put this here and just trim off that washi. And just this little bit of green right here. And let's go ahead and wipe this out that says no, because there's really nowhere to write anything. And we'll do this little scrap here. And I just want to use a couple of these little headers that say, get it done. And on the agenda, this is from Modern Year. And they go perfectly with this. So let's use this one. We'll do get it done there and on the agenda on this one. So I'm just going to white out the rest of that line that's showing. This one is perfect. It says, girl, you already have what it takes. All right. And that's going to be my spread. Oh, I love it even more than I thought I would. Things happen like that when you get started. You see things that remind you of other things you can pull out. I really like how this pulled it together and the washi tape as well as the foil from this apricot dream sticker book. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I put it together. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'd love it if you considered subscribing and turning on notifications and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!